hello darlings i just wanted to pop on and do a little video this morning um and see how you're all going so welcome to tammy and tiaras and thank you for popping in i'll just move the camera back a fraction so it's uh, a very gloomy day here in ballarat but it's really warm so it's one of those summer days that you you know you get hot very quickly but i just love it no matter what what it is how's your christmas been and yes happy new year to everybody it's wonderful to have you here all my new subscribers, thank you for coming. I hope you stick around for the journey. It's lovely to find like-minded people online. Well, darlings, Bert still has his shingles. They're still coming up on him. They're not at a contagious level, but he's still got them. I just can't believe it. These things just will not give up, will they? I've uh, packed the Christmas tree up and put the house back together because it was getting me down. You know it does, but after Christmas, somehow you want to clean it all up. So that's all done and I'm very pleased about that. We've just been coasting along, enjoying the summer, enjoying the days, playing with Lucy and just having a good time gener generally. I'm so happy that a lot of new people have found my channel. It's just wonderful. I love the comments. I love reacting with you people. My life is very lonely and it's wonderful to have people to talk to. Also, I find when you've got mental health issues, it's lovely to have something that takes your mind off it. And for me, this channel does that. So I can have a chat to you guys and you don't condemn me and all of that sort of thing. It's a positive platform, which is what I like to have. I'm standing underneath my artificial grapevine. Isn't it just magnificent? Oscar trimmed it for me and because it grows so, like you could put a camera on it and watch it grow, it's that quick. So he trimmed it for me on Saturday, so it helps a little bit, but I don't like these ones to be trimmed. I like to walk through them and feel them. So that's lovely. Yes, yeah, so have you been looking after yourselves and keeping your routine going, no matter what the weather is, wherever you are in the world? It is so important to look after yourself first, because if you don't look after yourself, nobody else will. That's a lesson that's taken me an awful long time to learn, really. I used to always put the children first. I'd be slopping around with, you know, in nighties and just getting them off to school. I've been known to drop them off in the dressing gown because I did get myself ready first. So I know you have to look after yourself first and it's lovely to have the time to do that now. It's much easier for me to be able to, I've got the time, but young mums, they are strapped for time and the only way they can do it is getting up earlier, which a lot of you will understand if you're on medication, for mental issues, you can't wake up too early because the medication kicks in overnight and you just sleep. And it's just really hard to wake up early. So that's the reason I think I don't wake up early because I used to be an early riser, but not anymore. Usually around eight o'clock, that's about the earliest I wake up. Yes, yeah, so what's been going on in your world? Please leave me a comment and let me know. And uh, yes, yeah, so I, I haven't got any news or anything. <coughs> Lucy, come on, come up and say hello to everybody. I haven't seen you in a year. Pick up Lucy. Come on, Lucy. Here she is. She got a wet belly. It doesn't matter. She's been to the park with us, and we always take Lucy every day, rain, hail, or shine, don't we, darling? And Bert gave her a quick rinse off when she Hang got on, back. Free phrase that. She takes us to the park, rain, hail, or shine. Yes, we don't have a choice. She wants to go. It's part of the morning routine. I do the bike, I make the bed, we play while we make the bed. And then we go to the park, don't we, Lucy? Every yep. single day. Two laps and then home again. Two laps and then home again. But we were talking about Bert shingles before Lucy wanted to be picked up. So sorry, darling, you were talking about the pain. Are you? <coughs> you're not on pain relief now, though. No, I'm no um, antihistamines or anything. So mm -hmm. they used to put me to sleep, mm -hmm. and the antifungal that fungal stuff they gave me the medication, the shingles. He was on the thousand milligrams a day, twice a day to get rid of it before Christmas. And while it was gone, it, it was still there. And yep. then straight after Christmas, um, he said to me, like we'd seen the kids and everything. And he said to me, oh, I'm feeling like they're coming back again. And we had a look and yeah, sure enough, they are. Yep. So don't mind Henrietta trying to say hello. It's just our grapevine. And these ones I like to hang around. So the wind's just letting her do her own thing. That's okay. <coughs> and we're playing with Lucy and the ball. Yep. Come here, Henrietta. Oh, maybe hook it over there. Oh, good. <laughs> so last night here in Ballarat, we had a horrendous storm. Can you talk about that, Bert? You're the weather expert. 70 mil in three hours. 
that explains everything. Everything was washed out, bark off the off the flat off the beds and stuff, just washed out off the garden. So I spent an hour cleaning up this morning. The fruit got knocked off the tree with the hail, that size of marbles. And you couldn't see across the road, it was that thick, mm. dense. Mm. Spouting overflowed, the usual storm stuff. We had hail, didn't we? Uh, Real hail. Size of marbles. I mean, and, and like we're into summer now, Mother Nature, uh, look, honestly, I think man can do everything. They can put people on the moon, but they still cannot control our Mother Nature, can they? No, that's what we can't. Yes, yeah, so, so that's right. <coughs> Lucy, you bring the ball to us. You come here, I'm not going to you at the moment. Sorry, she's very demanding. Have you got a fur baby out there? If you've got a fur baby, please leave me a comment. Let me know their name. I know that two of my watchers have got, got them. Uh, there is Lisa, who has Pixie Angel. And there is Jojo and Peter, who have Ruby. I can't think of anybody else off the top of my head that has a pup that I know their name of. So fur babies are so important, aren't they, Bert? Yep, yep. How many times does she get you up through the night? She's done this. She'll be six years this year, and she's done this every year since we've had her. <clears throat> She'll just jump on top of me and just pat me very gently on the arm, and she needs to go out and do pities. Rain, hail, or shine, but we go out. Some days, some nights, yep, no worries. Go the whole night. Next night, she'll go three times through the night. Yes, she is hilarious. So we're sitting out in the garden, and I thought Bert could have a chat to you about what it's been like with the shingles. Terrible. <laughs> Eight I weeks. First four weeks was just sleep. It just felt like you were being kicked in the ribs, bruised, you couldn't move, and the burning sensation is just unbelievable. Um, but it's got easier over time. I've still got little breaks here and there, but it's just left me totally zapped. Just mowing the lawn knocks me out for two hours. I've got to lay down and have a snooze. <laughs> me, have a snooze of an afternoon. So, but on the lighter side, Lucy's loved it. Oh yes, she's really liked it. She's, she's really uh, liked having Daddy. Oh home. yes, she, she has a nice sleep on the bed and away she goes. Loves it. She does. When she wakes up, she's full of energy and wants to go play. Come here, darling. Come here. Come on, pick Lucy up. Come here, dear. She wants Daddy to pick him up. She's so Bert's dog. <coughs> oh, she loves playing, doesn't she, darling? She does. I'm going to have to lift you up there, Lucy. Here's the ball. Here's the ball. Drop it. Drop, 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 drop. drop. Lucy. Good girl, go get it, Lucy. Good try with this one. Stuck in. Ah, oh, yes. Nothing like sitting out the front in the garden and having a rest, is there, Bert? No, it's Lucy? beautiful. Hi, Julie from Lucy. <laughs> Oh yeah, all day. I think we do all day. We do. Good girl, Lucy. But I just wanted to pop on and just remind you that this week, please look after yourselves first. Make sure that you have your medication, that you get up with a smile on your face, and that you do your exercise every single day. It doesn't matter what exercise it is, move the body. Because that helps with the with your brain as well helps with the serotonin in your brain and helps you stay regulated it's so important to do so make sure that you look after yourself anyway sending you lots and lots of love this week like I say it's a quick one I've been doing some shorts and thank you so much for watching them I just find them so so much fun and and thank you so much for watching and God bless and I'll see you next week bye for now God bless